Well, urinary incontinence, which is not being able to control the urination, is very, very common after prostate cancer surgery. Fortunately, in the vast majority of patients, over time, that symptom gets better. Uh, so the treatment really depends on where in the spectrum um, you, you, you fall. Immediately after the surgery, most people can't control their urination. And the best way to manage that for the short term is to simply wear some kind of absorbent pads that you can get from, uh, from any drugstore. But after a, a matter of weeks or months, if it's not getting better, then we need to have a better understanding of what the, what the causes are. Overwhelmingly, the most common cause of incontinence after prostate cancer surgery is what we call sphincteric incontinence. Sphincteric incontinence means that the muscles that were in the wall of the, of the prostate that ordinarily kept the urethra closed have either been completely or partially, partially removed or damaged. Okay, so if my fist is my fist is like the bladder, and my thumb is like the urethra, and this would be the tip of the penis where the urine comes out. My knuckle is approximately what the prostate would be, where approximately where the prostate would be. When your doctor did the surgery, he cut out the prostate, so he cut out from here to here, and then he sewed it back together. When he made this incision here, it's he, he does so based on the prostate, where the, where the prostate and the cancer ends. He doesn't have much control over where he, where he can cut. He must cut out all the prostate and all the cancer. The sphincter muscle is in the wall. The sphincter muscle is supposed to keep the, keep the urethra closed so no urine can leak out. And sometimes, well usually, when they cut out the prostate, they cut out part of the sphincter with it. The remaining part of the sphincter is what would ordinarily keep you continent, keep you from, from leaking. If too much was cut out, then you may never regain continence. If part of it was cut out, then you'll probably will regain continence over time. And fortunately, the, the vast majority of patients do regain continence over time.